ladies and gentlemen, welcome to uh, round two of our uh, of the men's singles competition here. <laughs> see Philip on the line already. We've got a fantastic game here right now. We've got a, a game between uh, Peter Taylor and Tom Rich. Now, he does. Now, Peter is a... Uh, And hi everybody, welcome to the uh, Back to Fig Tree Bolo. We're watching the singles game here between Peter Taylor and Tom Rich. Should be a rip of a game. These two players are fantastic. Peter Taylor plays uh, Premier League up at Tweed Heads, but he's from Austinville. And Tom Rich, I've just spent the last couple of weeks watching this young man bowl. And apart from a real propensity to eat uh, Mentos lollies, his games have been amazing. He uh, yeah, came away for, with some really big scalps and some really big trophies and just missed out on the uh, on the under 18 singles and uh, so this should be a ripper it's the only game on this rink at the moment and I'm here sadly by myself at the moment I think I'll have some guest commentators coming up shortly uh, I think um, Chanel Katouche said she was coming down I hope she um, keeps that promise as we start here Peter Talon's got a pretty good Pretty good start. Tom's on the right line, of course. Tom likes to chase his third one down uh, and using... That's a pretty good shot, actually. But using his Aero Optimus on this uh, fairly quick green. The wind hasn't changed much since this morning. It's still whipping across, probably from the northwest. Uh, not really all that strong. The players wouldn't be able to use it as an excuse anyway, so that's a great shot by Peter Taylor. So six bowls down there already, all behind Jack. And some personality on this rink. These boys uh, don't mind a bit of a laugh and a bit of a bit of fun. It's a big bowl here by Tom. Big important one. Peter holding two. I'd like to get a good start. Looks pretty good to there. There's a couple of rest on at the back. Oh, drifting through past Jack and sitting there, taking the shot. Good good opening bowl or set of bowls there by Tom Rich. He tells me he only ate one packet of Mentos before he came out too. So uh, anyone out there watching that knows anything about uh, the... Well, sat there and watched us. I know Phil at Lubke. At Lubke he's watching from Silverdale. He was online a lot. The, uh, the kids really get into the... They're looking for a sponsorship actually, so... And I'm happy to support that. So I wonder Tom straight up. And the scoreboard's not showing the right people again already. No, it just means it hasn't been updated. So I'll get that scoreboard sorted for you as soon as I can. However, I can tell you now, at this early stage, it's 1-0 to uh, Tom Rich. No, I'm wrong. Sorry, 1-0 one, one to Peter. I got that backwards. Scoreboard's upside down to me here, but I'll figure something out. All right. That's right, Peter. I do have those previous ladies. The uh, new scoreboard hasn't come up. I'll jump onto the production team and get it there straight away. Megan Jones from Greta. Good luck, Tom. Yeah, Greta. Yeah, Greta, sorry. Uh, Tom being from Mudgee. He's just uh, signed on to come. And he's playing now down at... Uh, now down playing at... Um, Marylands, I think. Well, he's taken on an apprenticeship as well, but he won't be there for a couple of weeks. He tells me that over the last, well, geez, four weeks and then until the end of the uh, Golden Nugget, because he's an received an invitation to the Golden Nugget, he'll, he'll have been home for six days in, in about five and a half weeks. And that's uh, pretty remarkable for a young man. 
Tom Rich getting a lot of support on the live live stream there. Good on him. Good on you. Get let us know where you are and uh, who you're supporting. Tom's a popular bloke. He's got a good personality, and uh, well, big personality, I'll say. I don't know much about Peter, so if you there from Peter, he did say to give. I asked him if he uh, likes anyone and wanted to shout, to give anyone a shout out at Austinville. Um, that uh, I asked him specifically if there's anyone. He said, "Nah, just the whole club." So Austinville, good on you, Jan Rhodes, go tails. And welcome to the commentary once again. He's a busy man at the moment with uh, lots of uh, match stuff happening. My mate Warren Shipley. Shippo, welcome. Thank you, Ben. Yes. Uh, Mr. First then, what happened there? One to Tails? Yeah, nice, yeah. nice tight end and uh, Tails got one, yep. Ganalabar, June Cornell. That's an interesting sounding place I've never heard of. I'm going to look that one up. Got a bit of interesting information on Peter Taylor that cool. we may pass on during the coverage from his partner in crime sitting alongside of us. <laughs> oh, and a guilty look there too. <laughs> she just handed over. <laughs> ah, yes, near this. Oh, it's near Ballina, so inland from Ballina. Gunalabar, near Lismore. Beautiful part of the world. Certainly not taking the grass they were yesterday afternoon here. No, particularly Tom using um, Aero Optimus, which are obviously quite wide bowls, wide drawing bowls. Having a look. Measure. They're going to find a tape. Tom's, Tom's prepared. He's also handed it over, so if you want this shot, come and get it. Yeah, I don't know whether you mentioned or not, Ben, no other game in this section with a, a the, forfeit. Yeah, sadly, um, one of the guys from, I can't remember where from, actually, couldn't, couldn't quite make it. Inverell. Inverell. Scotty Hamilton. Oh, umpire's call now. Umpire. Pam getting your first run. Warren Downey really enjoying his... Uh, Bundaberg up there. So, apparently, uh, Peter Taylor, easier, easier to catch a cold than him catching fish, I'm led to believe. <laughs> uh, he's waiting for lessons from his mate, Kirk Al. Pam using the new digital measure. <laughs> using the mirror there to make sure the measure's right up against the jack before pressing the button to get a digital readout for a measurement. So one shot. <laughs> One shot to Tom. So a nice friendly game so far. The first two ends, single each. So I'm out of sorting out the scoreboard. What did I miss? One each. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Nick Layton apparently watching from Long Bay Jail, saying yeah. it's a cracking game. He's right. So 
Uh, plenty of grass out there on the white hand, which we did see yesterday afternoon. The breeze has actually swung around from this morning. Yeah, I was just commenting on that when I first got here, but the flags have shifted since you sat down, mate. So yeah. <laughs> controlling the weather here. About a meter over there from Rich. No mucking around with tails on the mat. Very quickly into his work. He's played a nice bowl here. Yeah. Trailing the jack. You know, holding one there. And Tom won't mess around e either, by the way. He's uh, usually pretty decisive on the mat, but you will see when he winds up, he really winds up. Not scared of a run. I was saying before. Shippo that I've had the pleasure of watching Tom Rich play for probably the last two weeks, just in, in this various junior comps. Okay, yeah, yeah, down at Warilla. Yeah, Warilla and that uh, Cabra Manor as well. Right, uh, yeah. He's got a big fan base. Uh, Taylor swapping over to the back end here, just looking to dive down under Tom's bowl, work off it. And he has. Yeah, well played. Oh, well, basically very, Tom wind up, actually. <laughs> very inviting. Yep. Here it comes. Uh, he's he moving a across. touch wide, got his own. Oh, that's unfortunate. I thought that was going to cut back and get the edge, but uh, no, you're right. Just taking his own out of the back, probably put, bringing another one of Peter's in. Yeah, so we might... Depending on if uh, Peter Taylor's front bowl... He's in. We might see a full count here if he can draw another. Mm. It's a hard shot sometimes. He's asking it to slow down. I think he is. <laughs> it's uh, well, has it? Yeah, I think it's done enough to. Count, but we'll wait and see. It might be the whole lot here. So easy to get in your own head playing that last bowl sometimes. The yeah, it can look too easy. Yeah. So we've got the tape out again, are we? No, that three, three only, is it? No, four, no, it's the full, full count. Yeah. So kicking away a bit there immediately, Peter Taylor. Uh, Tom just knocking himself out. If you're going to go down big scores, it's the time to do it, though, early in the game. You can hear the buzzers going off all around us. Yes. Everyone in, in the club enjoying a good meal. Getting their lunch, yes. Callan, Lipton, how, hello to you, mate. I'm sure you've got a green to roll or <laughs> something to do instead of watching the live stream. Nah, watch the live stream. Who wouldn't? Tommy, <laughs> Tommy Rich dropping a beautiful one here, a foot to the, uh, well, to the left of Jack there. and hang, It's hanging out, but it's not a big target, which is uh, kind of what he'd be looking for. So something I did have a lot been watching while we're sitting here at Foster and across to Mount Kira, which I learned about yesterday. Oh, sitting here, Peter. fig tree, mate. Foster's up Sorry, the uh, case. Yeah, it starts with F, it's fine. <laughs> it's the big scar on the mountain up there. I'm really curious as to what that is. So if anyone from around here is watching, let me know and I, in the comments. Help educate this um, silly young man. And here comes Tom Rich. Richie, as his friends call him. Mm, just a little bit under the line there. So Taylor holds one. He's just looking to draw to Tom Richards bowl, which is about a bowl a bowl behind Jack High. Yeah, it's good the these the play at standard here. Peter Taylor has taken no time to adjust this green at all. But uh Tom may take a couple of ends. 
Goes on one bowls from Robin McPherson, yep. We love our zone one. Uh, Rich just going to duck under. Uh, three in and around it. Not just Taylor to hold shot. Looking to add to the count. Looks a little bit tight with this one. Depending on the weight, it's going to hang around. Just going to get away on him. Good enough for third shot though. A uh, mm, couple of interesting bowls coming up here. Tom has a nice, nice shot on his backhand. Trail the jack, land the shot bowl. But if he fails here, Taylor might look. Well, he's on a pretty good track here, depending on his weight. Is he going to arrive now? No. So it's going to be one to Taylor. One it is. And young Tom just doing there. Just a little bit off. Sorry, my apologies. I've got that on the wrong side. Let's try that one instead. Just not much off, but just enough that uh, Pete's, uh, Pete's beating him. He won't give up, though. He and uh, young Tim Thorning, who won the junior under-18 state um, singles championship last last week. Who, they're good mates, and uh, if Tim Thorning anything, is you never give up. Tenacious. Be tenacious all the time. He'll fight to the end. Yep. <clears throat> That's what it's about. Staying in the game as long as possible. Peter Taylor will be keeping on the... Uh, he's got the little ring on the inside too because uh, he has thrown a wrong bias at the Australian Open. <laughs> <laughs> I heard about that. <laughs> Oh, Tommy just calling this one across. Oh, it's Miss Jack and run through a fair way. He was hoping for the belly. I absolutely love standing here at this competition or sitting here at the window. You can see in a distance, of course, every single game going on at, at Fig Tree. The other two clubs, uh, Figgy Sports and, excuse me, we're at Figgy Sports, Wiseman Park and Tragedy Park are... Uh, Obviously hosting a lot of games as well. We'll get the scores to, to you guys for them as soon as we can. Um, as it stands, for the scores there are from the last game. We're just trying to sort that out. We're not entirely sure why the link's not working, but uh, we'll make it happen. And Peter's just drawn that back bowl. It's really lovely. And Tom with a bit of work to do now. Rushing through again a little bit. He's got the best back now, but not really an on-shot there for Tom. He's drawing on that wider hand. He's crossed the line twice now, so he, he'll want to stay that side. And that may be too far out. And he certainly chucked that one out, giving it plenty of plenty of grass to come back. It's going to get back almost to the centre line, so they are starting to hoop a bit on that side of the green. So it's Taylor holding one. He leads 6-1. His last bowl of this end. Rich has a bowl to come. Taylor looks to be in the area again here. Played it pretty well. Yeah, that's right down to the jack. Absolutely carried jack beautifully. That's fantastic bowling. Well, I might see Rich on the attack a bit here. He does hold third and possibly fourth. Yeah, and the opportunity there to um, crash through and take out both is definitely on. And with the 
Back bowls is risked if he cuts Jack away, but I don't think Jack will go straight back. I can't see that happening. Yep. Here he goes on the attack. Just going to hold up, is it? Yes. So it'll be two to Taylor. He goes to an 8-1 lead. Just missed. Oh, that's the wrong side. That's why that's not working properly. Let's try that again. The scoreboard's got me tricked. Well, they're having a good look. Yeah, just having a look at this third <laughs> shot. Magic fingers. Nope, two it is. So, 8 1. <laughs> So, guys, I'm just going to post the uh, link to the YouTube uh, channel now. We managed to get that sorted out over the break. Don't click on anything that's not us. And I mean this sincerely. I've had a huge influx today, more than I've seen uh, for a long time. We're getting a lot of viewers, I guess. But um, if it's not us, then don't click on it. And we will never ask you to pay Tom Rich. That's a pretty good bowl. I think I don't think he's got... I don't know if he's got shot out of it. We'll find out shortly. The other thing is the uh, title on that does say women's singles. It's not. It's uh, it is the the men's. Oh, I didn't see. He's got. He said it's a it's a measure. It does say women's singles on the title there. It's not. It is this game. I can assure you. Uh, we wouldn't dob you in, Steve. You're all right, mate. Your secret's safe with us. <laughs> Hopefully, your boss is watching too. Yes. Oh, oh well. Let's well. clean it out. That takes any measure out. Yeah. So we rich holding one knee out with the front bowl. Rich on the forehand looks to be in the area again with this one. Played it well. well we see a change of hands from Taylor here. Now well, sticking solid on the backhand. Oh, solid all right. Oh, yeah, solid attack. Right. Got his own. And just, yeah, pushed his own. Edged it all the way over. So, Rich again on the forehand. Looks a bit tighter, but he's got a little bit of extra weight with this one. Yeah, look, I think he can... Well, oh, he doesn't want to poke the jack out and give... Well, he's well, he hasn't played, well played that perfectly. That's a fantastic shot through that little gap and uh, just a little feather on the jack as he came through, I think. I didn't, the uh, marker hasn't marked it. Heavy shot here by. Uh, he's got Curtis it this Taylor. time. Dead Until in the end. end. Very good shot. It always seemed inevitable at that point, actually, <laughs> uh, for a crash through. Both players happy to play in the other direction. The, the rule is there if it is. If it is killed, they, they should play the end in the same direction unless both players agree. Uh, obviously, both have agreed with only one bowl to come. That's fair enough. So we start again.
Peter's first bowl. He's just watched it, watched it run past just a little bit and off to the side. Tommy Rich, what a great starter. Good reply. Hanging out to the side, but still the, uh, still the best. Couldn't catch a fish to save himself, you said. Apparently that right? so. That came from the um, yeah. people to our left. Kirk, didn't waiting it? for lessons for Kirk Hour, I believe. <laughs> Throws the ball pretty well. Yeah. You don't want to room with him either, I'm led to believe. He might uh, <laughs> make a bit of noise. <laughs> yeah, I'm a noisy roommate too. Yes, yes. <laughs> I've, I'm in that long list. <laughs> might have to ask who his uh, roommate... Oh, he didn't... Yes, he stayed at home during the recent test series, so no one had to suffer that. Might have to find out who roomed with him oh. at, the, at the trials down at Cabramatta. A couple just of weeks ago. Running through there, he's, uh, his second bowl was good. He's got a couple, there's a couple back there now, and, and uh, Pete's definitely got the best two back ones. So an on shot, not really the way to go for Tom, but he's got to make it, and it looks like he's thrown this one quite narrow. Disappointed with himself. Needs a Mentos, I reckon. I'm not going to not going to go out and supply him one that'd <laughs> break my confidentiality. <laughs> Sorry, the conflict of interest. But uh. Taylor on the wide forehand. They call them concentration pills, mate. Oh, is that right? The juniors, yep. Looks to be on a good track here. Just going to slip through. He still holds the one. Little touch of the jack here is what's required. From Tom. Maybe able to bring his back bowl in. Urging it on, but he's underneath the line. Yeah, he's cut again. <coughs> and that's going to be another one to Peter Taylor. He goes to a 9 1 lead. And this race to 25. 25 ends is all that um, they've got to get to. And Re yeah, no respots. So we replay every dead end. We've already had one of those. We've seen that. And that's it. 25 ends. And then they progress. I'm not sure what the other scores have been in this uh, in this section, mate. I'll just Well, there's a, whoever wins goes through, mate, because oh, there, there was a, a forfeit. Yep. So and they both had a win. Ah. Both had a win against Emmett McLeod. Peter Taylor winning 25-7 this, so this morning. This is a massively important game. Yes. Yep. Yeah, Peter Taylor's uh, score difference is 18. Tom Rich is one. But they're both on six points. So the rest of that doesn't really matter. That is correct. Right out here again. The clouds coming across are a bit thicker in, in the, on the roof there, on the on the top, but they're not really <laughs> affecting anything. They're not moving quickly. The wind is absolutely dead still right now as Tom Spy wants this to finish. 
willing it on, and it has. It'll be enough for probably two there. Two it is. Taylor with his last ball. I think he's on the attack. From a first nine, 25. Might have a hole. Oh, he's got the gap. Oh. There's 25 shots. And that looks better on the secondary scoreboard. Look at that. We're on our way. It's not rolling over, though, unfortunately. No. Maybe it's just slow. So three to Tom there. Wow. He cuts back the deficit a little. And trails four shots to nine. Which is good for him. He'll be happy with that with uh, Yeah, he'll he'll be happy with that with um a bit of a comeback and a bit of confidence. Taking the matter fairway up the green. Yeah, he's the jack to the tee. Does like a short end from my uh, experience. I do like the look of those Austinville uh, shirts. That's a flash one. A little bit St Kilda about it. Uh, don't know how much you know about Aussie rules, mate. But uh, I'm a bomber, mate. Are we admitting that? No, I'm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a West Coast man, but jeez, uh, we don't talk about Ooh. that either. No. Taylor back in draw, just going to get under the jack, going to sit the bowl or duck underneath it. Well, it's oh enough yeah. for shot. Well played. So Rich sticking to the wider side of the green in this direction on his forehand. Getting down nicely. There is a hole there though, which he's found. It's going to run through. So Taylor holds one. Rich does have a nice trail shot, but Taylor, if he can move the jack with this bowl, but he's going to be under the line again. And he may sit Rich's bowl here. Yep. Yes, he has. So he holds two now. So Jason, they're asking what's the score with Nathan. The uh, scores will be coming through sporadically as people put them up. At the moment, we can't see... Nathan, I can't even see where he is. That's the far end, I think. <coughs> he is. Uh, yep. We'll be pumping the scores in. It looks is that in there from Mount Lewis? That's yeah, it looks from here. Weirdly, she has got better eyes the than me. The scoreboard so we can <laughs> see is 2-7, but I'm not sure. I'll just check what side nope. of the... Tom Rich. Oh, oh, I don't think he's cut one out at all. No, good, good effort. There. I can uh, I can see Jay Bruce and Heath Maguire is five five. So the next board across is Rowan Dennis two, Nathan Wise seven.
what's going on here at the moment in uh, our little space in front of us. We're running around uh, Shippo's here quickly getting all the scores up he can. I'm trying to sort that scoreboard out there and uh, it's flicking through now. That looks a lot better. That's good news. And uh, Peter Taylor, that's a ripper of a bowl. Just a foot behind. So on that little scoreboard, you'll see uh, scores em empty spaces, which is good. That's I mean that just means that uh, we haven't had an update, or they're playing somewhere else. And uh, we'll get through those scores through as as it, as they come through to us. Yep. I can see they're starting to go in now from the other clubs as well. So. Those other clubs being Wiseman Park and Tragic Park. And look, if you're in the area, even if you're in Sydney and you've got a day or some time this weekend as it's coming up, these, these games play all through the weekend. Um, men's semi-final and four, single semi-final and final tomorrow. Oh, a great shot there by Tom Rich. He's finally dialing this in. Um, come on down to the clubs. They're great places to be, all three of them. Wollongong's a fantastic area and uh, sponsors us. Big shot here by... Peter Taylor, looking for Jack. Oh, oh got the it. Jack too, and it's going to go back to his touch of right. Going to sit on it in the ditch. Wow, that's, a, that's lucky in the end, but a good shot to uh, just to even hit Jack at that at that pace. Not sure whether our cameras can pan back any, so we can see the the ditch and where so the Jack at, is. He's lost the marker there. There it is. Well, you know, to get a so Jack sitting. From the centre line there, probably about two feet to the right of centre line now. Um, I can't actually see from here where uh, where Peter's bowl ended up, but it wasn't far from that. Uh, I think it's right on it. And Tom will be a bit short here, I think. Well, that's enough for a second shot. That's probably a good response in the end by Tom. One to come, but you know, dropping one here in, under this circumstances, <laughs> Peter's driven it straight into the hole. Oh, look at this! This will be second if it holds. It's, looks like it might just sit. Yeah, well played. Yeah, that's a great shot. So he's pretty much right on the centre line, right, uh, right near where Jack is in the in the ditch. Tom's probably running a bit heavy <coughs> here, I think. Yeah, plenty of grass, but he's got a little bit too much weight. So it's going to be two more to Taylor. So he goes to a 13-4 lead. Oh. Mm. Busy club here at the moment. You can hear babies yelling, I'm sure, over the microphone. And... and uh, Stephen Brown, I'm not sure what you mean by that. Is it being Chromecast? That's um, something we can't control, mate. That's up to you whether you can put the Facebook feed through your Chromecast or the YouTube feed. There is a link in the uh, link in the comments, which I'll pin, which I haven't didn't do. So if you go into the uh, YouTube clip, you may find it easier to, to cast to your Chrome system there. Cast to your TV. Great opening. Bowl from Peter Taylor. Under on the back end. I'll see if Tom can correct where he's first. Doesn't need much of a correction.
Pretty good response here by Tom. He's hoping it pulls up. Great shot. Great, fantastic shot. Give that man a cookie. Oh. <laughs> what a response. He's got the edge just asking, is he still holding? Looks from here that he is, yes. He holds one. Looking to draw another. Trail the jack a little bit. Uh, can pick up a three, but he's under the line. And that's not going to count, so it'll be one. Tom Rich. One of Tom Rich. Excellent. The longer we extend this game, the better for me. I enjoy watching these guys play. And uh, sitting here with you, Warren Shipley, watching some pretty good bowls, I reckon. Yes, there's plenty going on around us. I'll just go through and update a few more scores as we go. Shaw Mullaney leads 4-3 over Coral Nathan. And the game for the section, it's Jess Cattell leads 6-2 over the defending champion. We can see them boards from our vantage point. Yeah, actually, I've got the telephoto lens, so if you haven't struggling, mate, I've oh, got Oh, excellent. Thing, that may be called on, so, line. yeah, I'll use that so I can get the other scores up the other end. Just having a look. Tasha Van Eldick leads Fraction, oh, but he's done enough for shot. Well played. <laughs> Just carried that through beautifully. So Rich is looking to draw on the forehand. Although he's got a little bit of extra on this one. He might return the favour here, land the bowl out, or is he going to trail the jack? Well, oh. just sneaking past. So a quick change of hands from Taylor. Looking to land the wing bowl of Rich. If he gets underneath it, he's going to finish in a very handy spot anyway. Is he going to get down to the bowl? I don't think he is. Just going to hold just up. Just around it, yeah. Good effort. Said pretty. Sam, what a shot from his idol, Seb Pretty. Yeah, mate, he's, uh, he's doing a good... Having, he's playing pretty well. He's just, Pete's just giving him a little bit of a touch up here. Wants, to, wants his ball to swing. Ooh, he doesn't Careful. want to get that one and run away. Oh, well, he held in there. <laughs> well, I might see a change of hands here from Peter Taylor. I think he's just asking who's third shot. Fourth, and he's now asking fourth. I don't think he holds fourth shot. I think that'll be Tom Rich's bowl in the bottom right. Mm. So he's going to come and have a look. Yeah. So he's considering having a bit of a look at Rich's bowl here, second shot. Oh, yeah, a... He knows he's got third shot. I don't think he's got fourth. He's got a chance not just to move that, to move the other one as well. So on that heavier side. Alan Vidler here from watching from uh, Kevin Kirkhouse Aero Bowls World Mermaid Beach Bowls Club. That's a that's a mouthful. Yes. <laughs> it's Gay Pete, he says. Both players got a lot of support online here. It's great to see. All right. What's Taylor doing? Drawing or looking for the bowl? Oh. 
just looking to draw another here. Yeah, if he can he's... land the bowl, he's on a good path to do that. And he's got it up and over. Absolutely. Has he got it far yeah. enough? Absolutely well, perfect. well played. That is uh, precision bowling there by Peter Taylor. Yeah. Absolutely surgical. I'm not sure whether he brought his third shot in. but Yeah, it looks like it from here. However, that Tom's bowl is laying down. Yeah. I'm not sure where Tom's going next one. He's just gone for a comfort break out the back. Oh, yep. I might just grab that telescopic. Slide oh, yeah. off you, mate, and I'll uh, see what we can see down the other end there with them scores, and I'll update the boards. Go ahead. Ah, uh, yeah, that's right. I'll give it a go, mate. I'll, I'll let you know. Right up. I'll turn this down. I'm just waiting for the umpire. So it's the second board in. I think it's 7-10 where Jay Bruce is standing. 7-10. Then the next one across. Looks like 5 7, is it? So it was only the two, Taylor. But he leads now 15 5. So all our scores here at Figgy are up to date. Uh, you'll see them roll through. And we have match committee personnel at other venues updating the scores there as well. I mean, too, when that sun comes out, it's bright as anything here, and there's a real sheen on the green. I say shine so I don't end up rhyming. Oh <laughs> God, I've done it again. <laughs> and he comes, uh, Tommy just on his on his backhand now. Hasn't really got the the hang of that hand, I don't think. He's better on the other other side at the moment. Yeah, Peter Taylor's come to grips with the water side fairly quickly. You can see his first two bowls almost right on the centre line so he's certainly getting his grass looks like he's got his weight with this one as well mm. uh, that's a terrific bowl Peter Taylor really putting the pressure on young Tom who's decided to change hands not sure whether he's actually wide enough with this one it's holding a lot is he going to make contact? He has. Oh. Wheeled it across. He's, it's opened up. But I still think... Uh, yeah. Yep, he's still holding yeah. on there. Peter's the call. Okay. So, Taylor will need another one in there. He may be a little bit vulnerable. If he doesn't get another one in... We might see Rich attacking. Is he going to get down enough to get in front of that one? Well, he hasn't. So Rich will have a good look at this and see how many second shots he does have. Yeah, you're right. Deborah Pierce just saying it doesn't look what Tom we saw like last week. Actually, I think I, I saw a couple of Tom's um, first sectional matches in the in the junior um, junior singles and I think 
he was in this situation a couple of times and came back. One of the games, he bashed his way through. He just started driving until he got his confidence back and then blitzed his opponent. And uh, so, look, he hasn't. You won't give up, Deb. That's the the advice I think I have for you there. Conditions a little bit tougher outside than in, indoor as well. Yeah. Got a few more elements to deal with. So is he attacking the bowl? Yes, he is. He's having a bit of a look for Taylor's bowl here. He looks to be on a pretty good path too. Is he going to land the bowl? He has played oh, it brilliantly. That's, that's precision bowling. Tom Rich, magnificent. Just a matter of how many now. Yeah. Pete's just coming back at once, once again from his own little comfort break there, and so Taylor remain on 15. What's Rich going to pick up there with a nice little landing shot? So two's been pushed out. Three. Three is all. So he moves to eight. So Rich trails eight, 15. That's it. Seven shots in it now, but a race to 25. Super shot yeah. from Tom Rich, that one. Just brilliant. He's gone long after playing uh, short. He's gone almost two to two. Yeah, and a semi-final shot awaits. A spot awaits tomorrow morning for the winner of this match. He'll play the section winner of John O. Davis, Michael Phillips, Kent Price and Brodie Turner. I believe this. All may have won one, lost one in that section. Just have a quick look at that. So about equidistant here. Pete just dropping in a little bit short and uh, Tom being a little bit long. They all have in that section. John o Davis led the section going into game three with one win plus three. One shot ahead of Brady Turner, so. So Pete Taylor looking to get around those two front bowls. He is so far. He's got the right weight. He's got to stop here just behind Jack. That's a fantastic bowl. Down on his forehand. Tom Rich just now about to follow him down. And the other two sections, Nathan Wise is a two game winner. He leads the section. So a win over Rowan Dennis. We'll see Nathan go through. Oh, Tom Rich, that's another, that's a great bowl as well. Second shot, but uh, getting around the front, great weight. And in section four, it is Jack Lewis that leads the section over Darren Morrison. So still plenty to play for amongst our players here. That's another good bowl from Taylor. Holds two. I'm just having a good think about which hand to play here. So it's backhand. I think that's probably the wiser choice. He can work in off his own. If he's a little bit wide, he can turn his own in. If he gets underneath his own, he can sit the two bowls of Taylor at the back. Looks to be on a pretty good track to do something here. Yeah, he's he might even grab the jack, or is he going to be under? He's under. Oh, that's oh. an unfortunate shot for Tom. Wow. Just wanted the belly of it and it edged did. it. Yeah, half a bowl narrow there from a result. But it's Taylor now with a chance to add another. I think he's a little bit tight with this one. Yeah, 
Lewis just going to cut around even, even that or crash into by the looks Tom's bowl there. And uh, two. Two. So he leads 17 8. Having a good game, Pete. He's uh, yeah, he's uh, not missing many. Certainly, is a quality player. He's been at the business end of a lot of championships over the years. Obviously, Tom's got that all in front of him. Up and coming star of the game. John Walker telling us we're live on the big screen at Winona Bolo. Hello, everyone there. Raise a glass. And all around, if you're showing this at your clubs, good to see everyone here and, and watching. It's a pretty good game. You're seeing some remarkable bowls. Tom Tom Rich not playing poorly, but uh, Peter Taylor just putting on an excellent display. Got a late call up to the New South Wales side for the Test Series against Queensland just recently. It's part of the winning great shot, winning side that oh, that was won the test two two tests to one. This poor old razor did his. It did his was foot. yeah. And Ray Pierce, we spoke to you yesterday. I don't know if he's online today, but I uh, hope you get better soon, mate. Oh, Tom, just missing Jack there. Look at that by Peter Taylor. Great oh, bowling. Yeah. Change Fantastic. of hands. Three, a little cluster of three bowls there. It's uh, oh, Tom going through. Strong. Winding up. Characteristic of him. He's Does love a run. Is that Jack? That is Jack. Ooh, he's oh, he's got it out of bounds. Well played. He well was facing played, a full Tom. count. He was. He never got that connection. <laughs> so... Well played. Yeah, he played it on his third, so he had one, one more to rescue and uh, played that beautifully. Absolute dead eye. A sniper, in fact. But how good was uh, Peter Taylor's bowls to get them all sitting there, cl sitting there clustered to force Tom to play that? This is a brilliant game by both these men. I'd love to believe he's got a bowls playlist that he plays over and over again too, Ben, that no one else would want to listen to. I'm Who? reliably Peter. informed. Yes. Yeah. Oh, wow. Not, not quite sure what's on that playlist, but... I wonder if he's got it shared. We should see if we can find it. <laughs> <laughs> no one else would want to listen to it. What's on it? Hang uh. on a second. What's on it? Halfway there. Sorry? Halfway there. Like Bon Jovi? No. I don't know who's going to share. I don't know half of them, but it's just all this rubbish music. And it's just on repeat constantly. It just never stops. Mm -hmm. Well, we've heard it first that I'm not quite sure what's on it, but apparently it is rubbish music that no one else would want to listen to. <laughs> well, two cracking opening bowls from both players here. Uh, Tom Rich got out of a bit of trouble on the last end, was down three. Forceful shot. Got the jack out of bounds to start the end again. Taylor here drawing another fantastic shot. Must have jack high. So there's Tom on the charge again. And he's playing with a little bit of weight. Just looking to arrive. Is he going to get down to it in time? It's coming hard now. Is he going to get there? Oh, what a shot. He's going to give the shot away, though, unfortunately. Magnificent draw ball from Tom Rich, but I think he's down. Yes, he is. Right. 
I have the playlist in front of me. Uh, You've got some intel? Pete, yep. Let's okay. have a look. So we have... This, this is called Pete. I'm going to... Um, no, I won't do that to him. I was going to say I'll share it. <laughs> <laughs> it is public. Um, it's got some shaggy on there. It wasn't me. Okay. Uh, Life is a Highway. A bit of Eminem, some Flo Rider, Katy Perry, because why not? I don't know what that is. Oh, no, Cotton Eye Joe. Oh. Wow. Kenny Rogers, The Gambler. Lips of an Angel by Hinder. Well, Tom oh, Rich, Tommy. is he going to lay this bowl out? He, he has. Well played. <laughs> yes, great shot, Tommy. What an end Just of bowls, bowls we're seeing here. So, Taylor on the forehand. Just looking to arrive to get a touch on the jack. He's in the area to do just that. Is he going to get down in time? No, he's not. Whoa. He's just going to hold up. What a head of balls. Throw a table. Uh, table. What are those things called? A dishcloth yeah. thing over him. <laughs> Tea towel. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Same time. Look, I've got some Ed Sheeran. A little bit of Taylor Swift. Oh, Hillary oh, Duff. Someone's going to be in a Jesse world Jay. of trouble here. Nickelback. That's the worst. Everything else is okay. Nickelback. Katy Perry again. And Avril Lavigne. Wow. Oh, Gangnam Style by Cy. I haven't seen that in years. Tom. Well, oh, Tommy. Tommy wants to be careful. Well, he's played it well. Oh, hats off. That's good bowling. So we've just informed Mr. Taylor through the window that we've seen the list. Just, just to distract him. Well, one to Tom. <laughs> rolled out. Yes. Big smile on his face. He's happy with that. So that, that's a wonderful head of bowls just played there by... Uh, Magnificent, gents. both players. Just a little bit more protected coming back this way towards the clubhouse with the breeze, southerly breeze blowing. So the breeze is almost directly behind the players as they're playing in this direction. Well, I've got to do my job and... Update up, some scores. Update some more scores for the ticker. Going along with the ladies here. So Tommy has brought the uh, mat all the way back. It's sitting halfway across the across the tee. Jack about oh, most of the way down. It's an interesting position, but I still think it's only about three-quarter length. Uh, Nate asking, how'd Sarah? I assume you mean Sarah Boddington. She had a win this morning. She's in a bit of trouble in this one, though. She trails 13-3 for the the winner. will take the section in that game. So we've just been told by Jason Pinnock that um, you've been you've been known to dance to that playlist as well. So. Oh, oh <laughs> well. <laughs> oh, great shot, Peter Taylor. Who is it? Dead. It is. There's another dead end. Fantastic. <laughs> and of course, she's sitting uh, right next to us here. <laughs> well dobbed him, Jason. Good man. So a, a replay of this end. And the boys, uh, Tom again, doesn't move the mat. Makes sense. Oh, it's not often you see someone look disappointed with their jack throw, <laughs> especially when it's gone the distance. It's definitely gone the distance. And uh, right up near the end of the rink again, almost as long as possible. On his backhand side where he's feeling the most comfortable at the moment. Uh, I think he's actually bowling better on the other hand, but that's where he feels it's best. 
There's Lee Vile, I think, dropping in a little short and a little across. So that uh, one of Tom's rivals, I guess, from last week, and uh, but te state teammates Chanel uh, Takush is on on the line. She promised me that she'd come and sit next to me in commentary today, and she's let me down. <laughs> Maybe I know how to get a ride, but it's uh, I'll have some special guests during the week as the competition goes on for the finals. And we'll see if we can uh, get some insights into these players. Oh, Pete just pulling up a bit short there after his first one sat exactly on the correct line. Well, heavy shot by Tom. It's his third bowl. He's confident enough. Oh, geez, that looks like Jack to me. Jack it is. Hasn't killed it. Hang on. They're going to have a look. It's pretty close. <laughs> he's, he's stayed in. Stayed in bounds. Oh. Yep. So a couple there to, a couple there to Tom. Oh, if we can pan... Yeah. Camera back, we may not be able to get any further it. back. Yeah, I think that, that camera there wedged right up against the fence, so I don't think we can get much more out of it. But, uh, so Jack's sitting about oh, a good eight inches inside the inside the boundary marker there. And Tom looking at, on that hooking side, looking to come around and just sit but I think he's in the ditch yeah so Taylor a chance to draw another here holds one if there is a bowl that you just can't see if he gets under his own front one well he's not so he's wrecked on that one so it will be one to one. Taylor or it's one to someone one thing in the one in the ditch as well. Oh, Taylor came across here. How far back was he? Yeah, well, there was no oh, bowl in the. There's really no bowl look. in the ditch. Now it's one to Tom. One red one. So seventeen ten. Yeah. And Tom just making his making his comeback slowly as we expected. Put out my uh, bag of Mentos to keep laying around. Is that your sponsor <laughs> then? Yeah, your no, sponsor's was, products? Oh, I'll bring it on. It's, I'd, I'd, be, I'd look good. Uh, what do they say? Now that Subway, I was thinking eat fresh. I know the Fresh Maker, I think we used to what they call it. Used okay. To be what they said, but, um, no, I, conversations during the week. There's um, some of the uh, junior players will be here this week and they're keen on those things. So Love a mentor, see? Eh? Yeah, yeah, just a bit of an internal, like an in-joke. Right. And anyone here who was watching the coverage last week would have, would have seen weird little exchanges of Mentos in, on the greens and all sorts of funny things. <laughs> they got some good little habits, these kids. So, Taylor's opening bowl, the better of the two. Mm -hmm. Rich just trying to draw just a little bit over here, so it's only one to Taylor at the moment. He's well, I was just about to say he's really fine in his grass, and the moment you do that... <laughs> That's the mockers, isn't yeah. it? It's a commentator's curse. But I'm just looking around the greens at the moment, and I think it's getting cold out there. The uh, Some people down here, all in jackets. Everyone that's looking are in jackets. Some of the players are putting jumpers on, So, and that wind has shifted to the, uh, to the west... Sorry, to the east a little bit. Yeah, it's more of a... Yeah, south easterly, I'd say... <laughs> Clive asking us to yell out the window, wake up, girl. 
That's uh, Clive Boddington. I don't know if we'll. Uh, don't know if we're allowed to do that. I'll leave that up to you, mate. <laughs> Just go and give Sarah a yell. <laughs> yes, well, it's a very important game. As they all are, I suppose, here at the state championships. Nice, well, it gets into the into the meat of the competition, especially when we're in the in the third uh, third ground of the of sectional play. This is what decides who, who goes into the finals and. Uh, it's a big deal. Yeah. Um, tomorrow morning, we'll have the ladies' semi-finals for your viewing, and in the afternoon, the men's final. And we're not 100% sure who that'll be yet. No. Here we go. Wants to kick Jacks. Well. Just missed. Well, Taylor holds at least one here. Not sure whether it's two. The ball at three o'clock or whether it's a counter we will see whether he draws another one here maybe the first to 20 if this one's a counter well it's in the area well, it's not going Slowing to down. get there is it oh, it's pretty well, close oh, may well may well get there Magic fingers. Oh, they, he's looking at all of them. No, he gives them away so early. Oh, no, tape's coming out good. That makes sense. They did. This is a, one of the things. Our umpire, Pam, had a real issue with the guys last week relying on their fingers to make the measurements. As you said, mate, get the uh, lie detector out. And, uh, mm, that's one. And then Looks like it's going to be a three here. Yeah. Well, close closer, for the yep. third. So Tom Rich will remain on 10. Two only. So Peter Taylor goes to 19. Oh, Tom got after a back to back, a couple of back to back ends there, including a killed one, by the way, which is Pete. As he nearly yeah. throws Pete Bowl on the ground accidentally. Uh, and Tails has just brought it back, and Tails' last one, two, three, four, five scores have been twos. We nearly had a catastrophe at the other end. Our school board attendant nearly just tripped over his chair there. Oh. <laughs> he stumbled, but Main gained his feet just in time. Maintained his feet. Good opening goal, Tom Rich. Another one with a really good, uh, really good delivery. Really uh, good to watch, Pete Taylor. Oh, that's a fantastic goal too. Bellied it, carried it. It's only hanging out a little bit, so not a huge target. Uh, delivery very very compact mate not a lot can go wrong <laughs> most of the time they go right uh, showing it in this in uh, this game without a doubt Tommy just struggling a bit he's not with the with the grass I don't think he's found it still on that that side even though he's played it Majority of the game. Uh, and, and this is what Taylor has done extremely well. Swapped hands, but found the grass line. Immediately. Yeah. Just running on a little bit. Heavy Main. shot coming. Yeah, well, here we go. We've got contact on something. Oh, oh. straight through on the first one. Hit it exactly square, which is not what he was looking for. Uh, and, uh, Taylor no mucking around, straight on the mat. And well, I'll put it back again for you. I do love that sound, by the way. Yeah, 
And he has put it back. Yep. Oh, Tom's got. Rich might go again. He's just asking what the position is. Am I one or two down? I reckon it's, I reckon it's two, but that, those last bowl might be the one that's uh, the tricky one. Two, three down, he's uh, is he indicating. Well, we're on the attack again. And pretty well down. Well, he's under, Jack, I think. Edge. No, he's <laughs> taken out the back bowl. Well, he's saved one at least. And a uh, couple of shots here to... To Peter Taylor, and he's in the. Oh, sorry, he's about to uh, peg out. Good hustle there from our from the marker. Who was one yesterday too? Do you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Harry Johnson. Yeah, yeah. Member here for over thirty years. Great to see the volunteers giving up their time to come and help us with this event. Absolutely and right. We've got a game finished on the other green with Natasha Van Eldick winning twenty five four. Absolutely looking terrifying, Tash Van Eldick at the moment. Every time I've looked up and seen her uh, scores, she's been well ahead of her opponents. Yeah. And uh, after a really successful Australian Open campaign as well, she's looking like a bit of a, a threat to this competition. So, a couple of loose ones at yeah. the start of this end, but from the standard we've been seeing so far in this match. He's going to be the first to jump on the jack. That wind really whipping up now. It's actually shaking the uh, flagpole. Yeah. Out. Oh, well, that has got to be narrow of the bowls we've seen today. Yeah. But the way the buildings are positioned around here, we've got the winds coming from over the building and hitting the other building behind the players now. And all the boundary pegs' flags are shooting in different directions. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's pretty bizarre, actually, swirling down there. Well, Taylor in the area with this one. Oh, brilliant shot. Right on Peter Taylor. He's having some kind of game. Mm -hmm. Just taking his front couple out of the count, but he's got one right on it now. Rich. I'm not sure whether this one's going to get back in time with the weight he's got. It's not. It's going to get back to the... Centre line, just a little bit over. So that'll be second shot, at least. Taylor looking to add to the count. Yep, and he has. That's another great shot. Fantastic bowling, Peter Taylor. Tom Rich just taking his time. Regather his thoughts, come and have a look. He's a smart bowler. Do I get to say despite the way he looks? <laughs> <laughs> no, he's a good man, a, a good lad. And uh, a bit of work to do here now, Tom. I love the way he came and asked us yesterday when he had a bye. Does he had the <laughs> bye this morning? Does he still have to be here at 8 o'clock this, mor this, this That's morning? It. <laughs> That's it. So now have a sleep in, mate. You can tell the, uh, the school system's doing well. Yeah. <laughs> Come and ask for permission. Uh, he's out of school now. He's an apprentice groundkeeper up at Mudgee still. He plays, play, we will be playing down in Maryland, but uh, he's uh, up there apprentice, I think, like, to his dad. I've got to remember all these things. I had notes for him. But On the attack here. Yeah, definitely. That's the wind-up. Look at this. Well, he's How, got the jack, and he's going to score. He wants to, I was going to say, he wants it to keep moving. He's going to get a two here. How gently did that Jack roll, considering the rocket power that sent that bowl down? An apology from Tom. He got a lucky, lucky result there. Or yeah, they often say that, but he played at it. Well, he was looking to disturb it. Yes. I always say the uh, I, I like the sportsmanship. I really do. Yeah. But I, and you know, if you hit a 
bowl six feet in front and bounce across another four, four feet and take Jack, then I think that's worth the apology, but I don't think that was. I think that's just good play. And uh, yeah, it's not like if you not like if you're aiming at it. Oh, Barb pointing out there's another scammer. Thanks, Barb. I haven't seen that one. I can't see that one. Very good opening bowl. Oh, just sneaking past. The breeze now getting behind these bowls. Carrying them on just that little bit. Twenty-one twelve on the score scoreboard. A lot of work here to do for for Tom Rich, and the conditions really changing here. We we are predicted a bit a bit of a change uh, coming through. Yeah, single semi-final day tomorrow in all our categories. The open event here and the senior events in both men and women and the reserves events. All the singles will be here at Figgy tomorrow. So if you're looking to watch some Good bowling live and live in the local area. Get yourself to Fig Tree tomorrow for the semi finals, followed by the finals in the afternoon. So it's Taylor holding shot. Be a forehand shot on here for Tom Rich. Forehand to play trailer jack or play under the jack to sit the bowl. Looks to be in and around something here. Any connection? And he's got a connection on the jack and the bowl. So well played. May hold two now with that movement, slight movement of the jack. Taylor on the attack, looking for both bowls. There's a chance. Well, he got both bowls. Not directly, but he did get connection on both eventually, but uh, he may still be two down here. And he is. Back to 14, 21 now. Uh, opening bowl, Tom Rich needs to try to apply some pressure with this first bowl on the Taylor. It's a pretty good opener to begin with. Taylor following him down on the forehand. Twenty-one fourteen. We'll get our scoreboard updated in a sec. Rich missing both line and weight with that one. Taylor was a little bit quick last time. Let's see what kind of adjustment he can make here on the forehand. 
certainly adjusted the weight. And that'll be shot. Which looks a little tight again. Going to get away on him again. So missing his line and length there. So it's one to tail up. Look to draw another, but he's under the line as well. Hasn't sent it. All right, let's have a look. Just got to add a couple on to Tom, uh, Tom's. A couple on the score. score. Yep. Yeah. <coughs> Tommy not letting go. Well, as I said. Well, he's played a bit of a loose end though this time. Yes. His first bowl being his best one, so he. Although Peter Taylor has. Had a fairly loose end as well. Uh, interestingly, deciding to change hands and go to the wider side. Is he around the front bowls? I don't think he is. He's not. Got the edge of him. So Taylor a chance to make it two here. Oh, he's pinched his line as well. Yeah. How's his weight? Is he going to hang around? He's only going to, only got to beat the bowl. Uh, it's going to run on. Yeah, I think it's just a bit far out. So, I think it's one. Yep. Just going to be one to Taylor. So he's got the Mentos. <laughs> he's pulled out. The, <laughs> Good pulled lad. Out the Mentos to show you there. <laughs> That's my boy. <laughs> oh, these guys have got such a good sense of humour. I had such a I had such a blast at the junior champs. I can't even tell you. It was just a a wonderful week. These guys, uh, these juniors, they give me energy. It's great to watch. I did tell him to uh, play up to the camera a bit too. Told them both. Tails is a bit serious, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Very focused. It's that, it's that playlist that gets him, <laughs> gets him right in the mood. I wonder what song's going through his head at the moment. Hopefully not anything by Nickelback. So both their bowls just running back a bit, just just over a metre past Jack. But Peter Taylor's next bowl, a couple of inches just in front, brilliant correction. Tom not messing around here with his uh, second one, going straight into the heavy shot. May have the edge. Yes, he has, and pushed it away. He's holding shot again, but again, lots of space. <laughs> oh, it just puts it back even closer. Wow, what a shot. What a display of bowling we're seeing here from uh, Peter Taylor. Hardly done a thing wrong all day. It was a terrifying display. And Tom having to wind up again. Consider that carefully. Well, oh, that's even heavier. You got it. And there goes Jack. Another dead end. So they're replaying at this end. They're going to run down and grab the... Uh, <laughs> and grab it. Two really good drives there by... Uh, by Tommy Rich.
Sorry, guys, sound just down a bit. I'm just going to have a look at the scores as we uh, at the other end for keep those boards updated. So you want the... I think it's the one, the John O. Davis one, mate. I think it's 17-16. Yeah, 17-18 uh, it is. 17-18, okay. And then the one to the left of that as well. Uh, that plays on it. 12-15. 12, 15. Okay, thank so you. The scores will keep running round and round and round. So they Te- should be all up to date now. Tegan <laughs> Kenley here for Tom and, and Mentos. This, yeah, he showed showed us those um those little things and then smashed <laughs> to a to a peach bowl straight out and killed the end. So uh, concentration pills indeed. Oh, so they work. Okay, <laughs> that's why I've got a bag of two hundred of them sitting here <laughs> in my. <laughs> Next to me. <laughs> but Taylor, no mucking around again. No, nah, please. just plonk another one on. Just absolutely deadly at the moment. It's a terrifying display of a uh, precision lawn bowls right now. It's great to watch. So Zoe Nichols has just popped on the uh, stream here as well. And this is Zoe's fault. I blame Zoe for all of this. <laughs> and Pete Taylor, just another close one. Tom looking at, uh, he's filling the back there. He's got his first one back a long way. Yeah, well, he needs to be careful because... Peter Taylor. Oh, look at this. He's three. Well, he certainly corrected beautifully here. Now, it turns out that I didn't update the uh, scoreboard then, so. Uh, there was, uh, yeah. He's now. I was watching the other ones. Yeah, pretty good there by Tom. Just missing Jack. I thought he'd carried it through. But uh, a little short there by Pete. Cleared that, that bowl out. So Tom Rich actually holding a shot now. Taylor one down. That's he may it. be attacking this bowl too. And he is. And oh. he's got it. Yep, kicked it out sideways. Tom Rich with one more bowl to go. Has a bowl back, but he's played two pretty good draws. I think he'll just uh, draw there and try to follow his last couple around. Well, you'll need to, or oh, oh, Taylor will only require one for victory. So, big ball here from Tom Rich. Needs to get down, but he's overcooked it a bit, I think, and it's going to run through, and Taylor's going to score a two. So he goes to 24, requiring one for victory. 24-14. Oh, no, it's game over. Oh, it's three, sorry. I can see, didn't see the other ball from our vantage point, but uh, that's game. So Taylor, first player into the semi final. Tomorrow morning, he'll play, said the winner of the section of John O'Davis, Michael Phillips, Kent Price and Brodie Turner. A couple of close games going on in that section as well to decide that. And then our other semi-final will be the winner of the section, Jay Bruce, Rowan Dennis, Heath Maguire, Nathan Wise, and it was Wise that was leading that section. But I see that uh, he's one behind in his game now, 16-15. And then the other section winner will be out of Brett White, Lee Stinson, Darren Morrison and Jack Lewis. And I think Jack Lewis might have wrapped up that section with a win over Lee Stinson. Lee went down, that's right. Just spoke to him. 
So a big win here by Peter Taylor and an awesome display, I'd suggest. That's a, just precision the whole way. Didn't give uh, Tom Rich a chance, really strangled him. And uh, Tommy just un- unfortunately didn't play badly, just didn't quite get there. And uh, he'll be around. I think he's back for the triples next as well. But uh, Peter Taylor going through in this section. And I think that's us for the day, mate. That's it, mate. We'll go and update some scores and get them on to Bowls Link so everyone can keep up to date with what's going on and see who's winning. But uh, don't forget to join us tomorrow for uh, women's action in the semi-finals of the women's singles. And uh, as we said, if you're around the Fig Tree area, get yourself down here because the uh, semi-finals from the other clubs will be joining us here at, at Fig Tree for the semi-finals in the seniors in both the men and women and in the reserve semi-finals as well. Exactly right. Big day tomorrow, Saturday tomorrow. You'll all, uh, all the people who aren't working and want to come down and watch some great bowls at a, at a great club and in a great region. Uh, at Wollongong, come down here to Figgy and have a good time. It'll be a fantastic day. Thanks very much, guys. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you tomorrow morning.